Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross key skill video on performing multiple operations with algebraic fractions. So what makes this question so difficult where we want to simplify this expression is that we've got a combination of dividing two algebraic fractions and then we've got the addition of some algebraic fractions as well. So the first thing to think about is bidmus. We've got a division here, we've got this divided by this, and we've got this addition, we've got the two plus. So what comes first? Well, remember bidmus, division is gonna come before addition. So that means there's gonna be some kind of implicit bracket around there where we do this division before we do the addition of the two and this by the rules of bidmus or bodmus or whatever you wanna call it. So let's deal with this first. And we probably want to simplify this fraction first by factorising whatever we can. So factorise over here. So that is x plus 2 divided by... Now for the top, now if you don't know how to factorise quadratics like this or this, please watch my videos on that first because I am assuming a certain degree of knowledge here. But we need two numbers that add to give that middle number of 1, there's an implicit 1 there, and times to give the last number of minus 2. Well, those two numbers are 2 and minus 1, so it's going to be x plus 2, x minus 1. Now, we also need to factorise the bottom. You could use a method called splitting middle term, but I'm going to just do it relatively quickly for the purposes of this video. To get the 2x squared in the expansion, it's going to be 2x and x, because 2x times x will give you the 2x squared. And to get that 18 there, it's this number times this number. It's either going to be 9 and 2 either way around, or 6 and 3. Uh, I think it's going to be 6 and 3, because if you have the 6 here, that gives you 12x. If I have the 3 here, I get another 3x. So 12x plus 3x is 15x. That's right. Now, nothing here cancels at the moment. There's no common factor top and bottom. But let's think how we do with this division. When we divide algebraic fractions, we saw in a previous video, we can do keep, change, flip. So keep, change to divide into a times, and flip this fraction. Now, if you want to times these together, this is not a fraction, but this is. So let's put this over 1. It doesn't change it. Anything over 1 remains the same, but it allows us to times these together now. So we just times the numerators together. x plus 2, 2x plus 3, x plus 6. And we have 1 times this, so x plus 2 and x minus 1. Now, is anything common top and bottom? Uh, yes, there is. The x plus 2 is common. So now we're just left with 2x plus 3 times x plus 6 over x minus 1. So going back to the original question, we have 2 plus this thing here. So we have 2 plus this thing here. And the x minus 1, I don't need the brackets around the x minus 1 because there's nothing around it. Now we need to add these together. Remember how we add algebraic fractions? Well, this is not a fraction at the moment, so let's put it over 1 to enable us to add these fractions together now. And what we can do is to just multiply top and bottom of this fraction by x minus 1 so that we have the same denominator. So in fact, just for the sake of space, I'm going to put that here. So we've got x minus 1 here and x minus 1 on the bottom. So I've times top and bottom by x minus 1. Now we have the same denominator, so I can just add these. So we've got two brackets x minus 1. I'm going to expand that at the same time, so 2x minus 2, and then adding, and I'm going to expand this as well, so 2x times x is 2x squared. We've got 3x plus 12x, which is 15x, and we've got 3 times 6, which is 18. In fact, it's what we had earlier over here, over x minus 1, and if we just simplify that, we've got the 2x squared, we've got uh, 2x plus 15x, which is 17x, and then we got the 18 minus 2, which is plus 16, all over x minus 1. And it might be that this simplifies further, so this might factorise, and you might find it has a common factor of x minus 1, which would cancel with that, but in this particular case, that doesn't happen.